Um, from recruiting it, from a recruiting point though, uh, we're actually working with a lot of coaches now who get so good with the model that they can recruit specifically for the type of player that they want. You know, all other things being equal. Like I, I don't believe in recruiting specifically for a profile unless you really need to fill a gap in what you have at the moment. Like there's a team that we're working with who has uh, specifically been able to recruit a few more D players. Okay, but that's because the coaches, they don't profile them before they come along, but they understand the model well enough to know what to look for to get that particular style of athlete. In under, what, what I find interesting about understanding the model really well is that it gives you a lot of answers into behavioral predictability. And, and the reason why is because people do things in patterns of behavior. Like everything we do is a pattern. Do, do you understand what I mean? And so you, you see one thing and it's like if I go, right, so I'm looking for an animal, you know, I'm going to recruit, you know, a specific type of animal, literally. Imagine that the animal relates to a person and I'm going to get one and it's going to have a, I want it to have webbed feet, I want it to have, you know, wings and be about this, this tall and a, and, a, and a yellow bill. I'm recruiting for a duck, right? Now, what else do I know about that duck? What sort of environment do I know it's going to need for it to be successful? It's like saying, right, I'm recruiting for an athlete that when I ask them what do they enjoy, and I had this specific conversation with a client the other day, and he said, look, give me some questions that I can ask my recruits that will give me an indication, a likely indication of what their profile might be. And I said, right, well, instead of just, you know, asking them the basic stuff, like tell me how you grew up, you've got to ask really open-ended questions. And for example, if we're, you know, if, if you think about a C and a D, one of the behavioral styles is that they're very guarded. And so you ask your new recruit, so tell me about yourself. Like you do that to me, imagine you're going to recruit me. Ask me that question. So tell me about yourself. Well, uh, just grew up in a place called Brisbane and you know, learned to row at school. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Full scholarship. <laughs> That was easy. <laughs> but the point is, is that that style is what? It's guarded. It's closed. They, they are not going to, well, this and that and everything else. Like if I was to be more open, like when you ask that question, you go, tell me about yourself. I go, well, I grew up in a place called Brisbane and we went to this school called Brisbane State High. You would believe we haven't won the head of the river since 1948. And, you know, I had two goes at it and I didn't win a single race, but my brother rode at school, so that was one of the reasons why I did. And my dad was a teacher there, so it was really easy for me to get to training. And eventually he actually became the rowing master after I finished because he spent so much time at the shed anyway. And so the point is, is that suddenly I've given you more than just what? I gave you more than just the basics and I've just given you all of this information. Like someone who's a C and a D, they just don't do that. They just don't. It's just, and if they do, yeah, you're going to be feeling like it's not easy for them to do it. Does that make sense?